Hello folks and welcome back to another video. So you all want a smooth gaming experience, right? But what is smooth? How do you define smooth? Can we say anything that's above 60 frames per second constantly is smooth but with very minute stutters? While well, considering the smoothness factor in games, one of the most important factor that we often tend to overlook when deciding which components to buy for our next gaming PC is the 1% and 0.1% low FPS numbers. Most of our purchasing decision for a gaming PC gets dominated by the average FPS numbers it can produce in games. But the average FPS is only a part of the story. When it comes to performance of the games that we play in our PC, the 1% lows goes a long way in determining just how smooth the gaming experience actually is on that PC. If your 1% lows are bad, even while having say 100 FPS on an average, the game will never feel smooth enough. It might look good on a benchmark video, but not while actually playing it. For this reason, a good CPU becomes as important as a good GPU in gaming PC, as our 1% lows are completely determined by the CPU of your PC. While we are scouting for parts for our next gaming PC, most people often tend to ignore the importance of the CPU. As we all think that FPS are only generated by the graphics card and we splurge on that component the most. While it's true, your GPU is the single most important component of your gaming PC, the CPU is not something you can skimp out on if you want that smooth gameplay experience that everyone craves for but only some get, just like super hot Victoria's Secret models. I recently did a video where I paid the Ryzen 5 5600X a 6-core 12-thread processor up against its big brother, a 8-core 16-thread Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, and witnessed just how much of a difference does it really make even when the same graphics card is used. I have used my RTX 3060 Ti as a GPU along with 32GB of RAM. All the games were tested at 1080p on medium or high settings. To keep the load to a minimum on the graphics card and stress out the processors as much as possible. Let's look at some results from that video to see what I am talking about exactly. We made it. It'll be good to see Grease again. Been a long time. Well, we better hurry up then. Are you serious? I gotta serve the damn papers this morning. I've been selected for outside work duty. Did you find my pointy pony? I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. Hair is her righteous crown. Beautifully said. Her hair is nice like that. Well, thank you, sir. This is some really beautiful furniture here. I had a closet like that in my room. I like to hide in it. <laughs> of course you did. <gasps> Look at the colours. Just imagine Look the clothes you can make with this. 
So as you can see, in all the games that we just tested, even when the same graphics card is used, there is quite a significant performance difference in the FPS numbers and the smoothness factor is way better with the 5800X 3D than with the 5600X. When you are aiming for that smooth gameplay experience more than the frame rate, the frame time graph becomes the biggest limiting factor in providing that experience and this is where a good CPU comes into the picture. Also, you just witnessed how legendary the 5800X 3D has become in modern games and why this is the best and the last upgrade you can get for your AM4 based system without changing it. I do hope this video was useful to you and will help you in making a better purchasing decision on your next gaming PC build. Please like the video if it did and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Let me know in the comments below what CPU do you use and how you plan to upgrade it. Take care and I will catch you on the next one.